Random Games presents to you... Vikings, the strategy of ultimate conquest. Lee designed by Randall D. Masteller. Hello everyone, I'm Tegan Berry, and it took me quite a bit of work to get this game working properly. Uh, particularly the sound had a lot of issues, but I'm very glad to be playing Vikings. It was well worth the effort. Let's listen to the introduction. From the fury of the Northmen, deliver us, O Lord. I love how deep this guy's voice is. Out of the frozen Northlands of Scandinavia, uh. near the beginning of the 8th century, a force came that would change the European continent forever. A force which defies pinpoint definition even to this day. We defy pinpointing. There are some historians who regard the group of people known collectively as the Vikings as barbaric marauders who swept down upon innocent villages without mercy and with greed and destruction as their only goal. Raid! There are other Pillage. historians who look upon these Northmen as explorers, traders, and even colonists, without whom much of what we know as England, France, and the rest of Western Europe would not have pulled themselves out of the Dark Ages so quickly. The controversy will not be settled by this game. We'll see about that. What hopefully might be settled is how you, the player, can function as a leader of one of these Viking people. Will they rise to greatness, perhaps even controlling an entire country? Will they stay as they are, neither advancing nor succumbing? Or will they become prey to other Vikings who see weakness and swoop down upon you? The concept Hopefully not. of the game is simple. You are the eldest living offspring of a Jarl in charge of a small but quite prosperous region. Your father has suddenly died, father, leaving no. you in complete control. The question is, what do you do? The answer is, you do the best you can. Good luck. Thank you, narrator guy. So let's play Vikings, the strategy of ultimate conquest. I am a male. And what country? What nationality? Norwegian, Swedish, or Danish? Well, I'm honestly choosing these uh, just based on the color. I like red and white, so I'm gonna go Swedish. Also, Swedish is uh, conveniently placed between the other two, so I think it will be kind of centrally located, which would make for some easy rating. So yes, Swedish, because we are going to play on the Saga slash Legend difficulty. Which is extremely difficult, so uh, I need all the help I can get. And what skill shall I choose? Combat, archery, military, diplomacy, navigation, or wilderness? I think the best two choices you can possibly make are either navigation, because you do a lot of sailing, or combat. Although if you do, I think wilderness is a skill that improves your ability to walk around without a ship more quickly. Archery naturally helps you use your archers more effectively in combat, whereas military helps your troops fight more effectively in combat. And combat helps you fight uh, duels better. I don't think it helps you in the strategy part of the game, but when you're fighting a duel, it, it really helps. And duels are really, really hard, especially on the Saga difficulty. I can't, I can't reinforce that enough. Uh, you can get killed in one strike even if the opponent is really high level. I don't know exactly how diplomacy affects the gameplay exactly. I think I'm going to go with combat because you need all the help you can get in combat. And my name shall be Tegan. Because I can't think of a better Viking name besides either Sven or Ragnar or... I don't know, those are the only real Norse names I can think of and I don't want to take too long so I'm just Tegan. And here are the Swedish meatballs of cities that we can choose from. We can choose the Swedish village of Vingulmork. Welcome to... Am I, am I saying that right? Vingulmork. Uh, Gotland. We can choose Upland. That looks like a nice one. Norland. That uh, doesn't look as so good. Finland. Average. Or Karela. Karela? Karela, Karela. Either way, it's got only a thousand people and a poor economy and fair military strength. So what is better, fair or average? I'm guessing average is better than fair. 
because it seems to be like the places with higher population tend to have better military strength slash economy. So Upland is looking very nice with good military strength, an average economy, and it's very well centrally located, so you can easily go around raiding the rest of the area. So I guess I'm going to go with Upland because it's the easiest choice, although if you wanted to go for a really difficult game, you could choose the worst of the cities. But uh, you can also choose not to take a skill in the skills screen, and I'm not doing that. I'm taking some advantages, but uh, it's still going to be a really difficult game, so... We're going to start in Upland. I am Tegan. I am starting in Upland. And I have a blue bandana. Are you satisfied with these choices? Yes. Your weapons are now yes, blooded. Yes, I am. Your oh. father is avenged. That was weird. And your people look to you for there leadership. There should have been a cutscene the there, but it may got well skipped. Be with you as you continue That's your father's strange. Quest. I don't know why that cutscene got skipped. It didn't skip when I tested this game out. That is weird. I think it has something to do with the way I'm recording this game. Well, basically it told you that uh, you avenged your father. What, that what happens in that cutscene is... Well, we, 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 we just put a bit of a cutscene there. If I can, if I can re-record that cutscene and splice it in, I'll do that. But that's a bit of a shame. Anyways, the merchant greets I know you how that respect. works, so we're not really missing out on too much. I've seen the cutscene before, but you didn't. But I can explain to you that, yes, you have avenged your father, and you are now ready to live a vi life as a Viking. So I'm going to take the initial goods I start with, and I'm going to sell them at this merchant to get some extra cash. I might be able to sell these uh, goods at a merchant who pays a higher price for them, but I can spend them right now to upgrade myself, and I think that's useful. The black, I'm going to upgrade my armor. Of respect and disdain. The blacksmith respect tells you that he and disdain at the same time. I respect your quality. choice to upgrade your... I respect your choice to upgrade your order, weapons, but I disdain your upgrade. horrible weapons. Okay, well then upgrade them and the disdain no longer, my blacksmith. Barely disguised barely disdain. Disguised disdain. At least you had a mixture of pride and disdain. But now there's no respect. There's just barely despised disdain for my for my weaponry. Or it was my armor last time. Okay, I've upgraded my weapons, my armor, and I will upgrade my armor again. And I think that's all I can afford, right? The merchant Basically, I am left with 500 silver, and I do need some silver to successfully go on a voyage. Let's talk to the room. Enter a gloomy hut filled with many strange items and smells. An old woman peers inquisitively at you and demands to know what matters bring you to her home. She asks if you are seeking a legend, to know if the gods find favor in you, or need healing herbs for your wounds. Right, I forgot you could get healed here as well. I, all I remember about the witches are the runes. I forgot that she would also tell us a legend. And I think the legends, while also being interesting, can lead you to magical items. I don't know what these artifacts do in ways of helping you, but I think they were nice to have for some reason. So let's With listen to a legend. Impudent shrug of her sagging shoulders. Impudent. The room You're woman shrugging is your request. What? Claiming that she has no oh. stories for you today. Okay. Perhaps some other time <laughs> when she is less busy. You, you dare deny you my request, witch? With many oh, you items don't have any smells. stories. Okay, fine. An old <laughs> woman cackling <laughs> loudly and sporting <laughs> a toothless <laughs> smile. The old hag reports that the future looks promising. Oh. If you are to travel, today would make a fine start. Oh, good. Oh, good. You enter a gloomy The runes. Hut. The runes bear good While portents for our hopping, adventure. This tavern has a Let's go to the tavern. Oops. Hello, tavern. It must be an off hour. As Hello, as tavern patron. Swearing by each and every god that was or will be. The patron suddenly hollers that he will never again try such a stunt. The silver heat one wasn't worth taking on a reindeer with a bare ass and bare hand. I'm kind of more surprised at the reindeer for being willing to fight you when you're bare ass and bare handed, but. Yeah, I don't know what either of you were thinking with that engagement. Hello, storyteller. The storyteller story will certainly tell you a story if you buy him a drink. And that story can story lead you sure to a magical item. So let's buy you a drink. That you've made a wise yes. decision indeed. Hello, storyteller. Story My thanks, friend. You're welcome. A good draft of mead is what we need to steady our spirits in these dangerous days. Aye, the dangers of this world bear down upon us even as we make joyous noises in this place. For all is not well with the gods. There are dark forces at work, and Ragnarok must surely be coming. 
Oh, I'm ready for you Ragnarok. Doubtful. Have you not heard of the lost Valkyrie? No. Ah, uh, troubling tale it is, my friend, but for you I shall relate it. Oh, well, thank you. If it's it just for me. It seems that there oh. was a certain young warrior who was both brave and beautiful of feature. In one of his battles, he managed to catch the attention of a young Valkyrie named Isrid as she was about her work of collecting warriors for Valhalla. Erling, for that was the warrior's name, showed both great bravery and strength in battle, and in very short order, Isrid was deeply in love with him. It came to pass, as is often the case with warriors, that Erling was gravely injured in battle. Isrid was assigned to take him to Asgard in the house of Valhalla. That was lucky when for her. she saw the face of her beloved, she was unable to bring herself to take his or life. Or lucky for both of them. Instead, she spirited him away to a secret cave in the mountains. Then again, how many Valkyries are there? Wounds. I don't know. After a long time, for Erling had been wounded even unto death, he recovered almost fully. You can imagine, my friend, that the gods were not pleased, and Isrid knew this, but she had done what her heart forced her to do. When it was time for him to return to his home, Isrid gave Erling her helmet as a token of her love, and ran away to where the gods could not find her. I have heard traders talking of late that Erling has indeed returned home, and that he carried with him the helmet of the lost Valkyrie, for none know where she is even now. It is at this point that the story truly becomes strange, for the legend has it that he learned she was living in a distant cave, and he went there, went into the cave to find her, and never came out again. Well, either he got mauled by a bear, or happy ending. O or they both got mauled by a bear, o or they lived with a bear, and they all had a happy ending. His tale now ended. Oh. The storyteller mentions that a map to the cave housing the item hmm. he spoke of can be obtained from the tavern patron nearest the wall. Up in Iceland? He also tells you the city closest to the cave. Okay, you want to send me to Iceland? That's, that's, a, that's a pretty far trip. But sure, I'll go to Iceland. Five pieces of silver for a map that leads me uh, a map of a ca to a cave in Iceland. Okay, so the magic item that I can potentially acquire is the serving wench a that if you are the Va Valkyrie's alive, helmets. Will the Valkyrie's good, helmet even fit? Fit and only fit. fallen for the best. She then asks what your pleasure is, certain that she knows the answer already. Uh, yes, I'll take a drink. Nearly purring. The serving nearly witch arrives purring. with your drink and places it across <laughs> and what's the, table with the nearly out of your reach. She grins. What's with the very as the less like than sweet noble serving sort of wench approaches? She gives you a high class smile music. and a wink. This is not the music I would associate with wenches of the Viking she hopes variety or or any sort of wench, quite frankly. And asks a lusty pleasure. grin. I'm a, I am as thirsty as I am strong. I'll order wench. another drink. We can see that the area is getting more and more blurry. The I wonder if this is spending my silver. Loud, placing your drink on the table and oh, it's really, really blurry right now. <laughs> Nothing can be made out. I wonder if I go the unconscious if I keep more, drinking. Nearly purring. In the game Pirates, this game is very similar to the game Pirates. And if you get drunk too much in the game Pirates, you pass out and you get uh, press gangs, and it's not good. The serving winch warn. Maybe the I should save the game before I keep doing this. No, I think I, I've reached maximum blurriness. I'm gonna save the game here as... Max Blur! But I'm not done yet. The things are quite blurry. I mean, I haven't even gotten out in the real world yet. I've been having so much fun with the witch and the, and the storyteller and all the talking. Alright. Server. Serving wench I wish I want to flirt with you. Admonishing you good-naturedly for the oh, that's nice. Have. The serving wench adds that most of the men here are coarse and crude, but not so you. Not me. I'm, I'm as drunk as I can possibly get. How can I not be the coarse and crude? The young lady thinks for a moment. She what? nods quickly and reports that she had a young man in last night from another city. While in his huh. cups, he had plenty to say of his homeland, including with 19,000 men. I don't think I can he beat 19,000 men over the good quality of their armor. And they had oh, good quality. But he did brag over and over of the smith they had making their built like an oak. That is how he phrased it when we were talking of the fortification. 
taking a deep breath. I didn't know she, she could do this to the issues before you. Adding that she hopes that the information will help you. Yeah, I'm not going to invade Abbeville because I'll get my butt kicked. I'm just starting the game. But that's interesting. The tavern keeper Hello, nods barkeep. at you and asks in a respectful. Uh, news? Ah, people did stuff. Making peace and losing ships and marrying people. Okay. Well, that's nice. Anything else I can the do with the barkeep? Keeper nods at you and Make idle conversation. The tavern keeper spends a moment or two with Okay. Well, I have had as much fun as I possibly can in my hometown. Arms. It's time to mount an expedition and go out in the world and the raid arms and arrives, pillage and, and steal. The men and I don't want to hire that many troops. Jeez. Your, troops. your first boat can only carry about 80 cost. men. So I'll hire 80 men exactly. And you? What are my in default lieutenants like? You've got military skill. That's good. Navigation and diplomacy. Combat skill. That'll help you in a duel that you'll never get in. And you also have combat skill. I don't think... I think combat skill only affects dueling, so... Basically, my best fighter for strategic battles is that guy with the beard. The brown beard guy is... He's actually pretty good. So maybe I should just take him along for my battles. But, oh well. Too late. Here we go. So I'm taking all my men... And I'm taking most of my food. I don't want to take all my food because I want to have some extra cargo space because I'm rather hopeful that I will get a lot of loot. Checking carefully this and then I will raid and pillage the food as I need it. Alright. We are finally on the open seas! Alright. I'm going to start by going south. Be because there's there's more south to go and and I have to go south to get to Iceland if I want to get that Valkyrie helmet. Well, the, like I said before, will the Valkyrie helmet even fit? Just... All right, so some place was attacked. Doesn't matter to me. That's a big town. I can't make. At the beginning of the game, you are very unlikely to take just about any villages unless they are the smallest and weakest of villages because you don't do not have many troops, you don't have good equipment, and you're not very good at dueling. Your master that town looks pretty small. Let's take a look. The town you arrive at Denmark. is truly destitute, reports the Kalmar. Master Arms. Des it's destitute, and it has animosity, animosity with us as far he as relationships what concerned. You wish to do. Well, I don't like you either. I think I'm going to attack. But what if I walked in? Could I get more information? Let's attack. Attack! I'm going to take my chances. All right, so you're an archer. You're an archer. You're... We can only have one Berserker unit, but you have good military skill. Whereas I'm going to remain a fighter, because if you lose your leader unit, you instantly lose. Whereas you can lose your friends. So, the Berserker... You know, the Berserkers risk their lives more. They're not as defensive, so... Alright, that's the setup. Here we go! Let's find out how tough this place is. Okay, that looks actually fairly tough. We're in combat right away. Okay, stop fighting my Berserker and fight me. Fight me, I've got more defense. Support me, archers, please. Ow, 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 okay, ouch. Berserker, fights! Fight, Berserker, fights! Stop hitting me so much. That was pretty brutal. Okay, well, uh, how much more of the enemy is left? One, two, three, four, five, six units. We can't win. We're not gonna win. We are not going to win unless we do some amazing strategy and tactics. Well, let's see. We can cross this bridge, and we can pick on the leader directly. If we do that, then we might still win this. Now's not the time to panic. I can always hit this button to flee. But fleeing, well, that's no good. I'll have to hire more troops, and I'll just lose money. No, I'm in this in for a penny, in for a pound. I'll just load game if I uh, screw up too badly. Because it's the hardest difficulty setting. This game is not friendly in terms of uh, when you lose. It's not very forgiving. This game is extremely unforgiving. I'll just put it that way. So it is not unfair to load the game when you screw it up. But hopefully that won't be the case. All right, archers, you may need to do a little bit of melee combat in the next coming moments. Let's see if we can focus on that leader. Archer? Is 
Berserker. Archer number two. I'll back up. The controls in this mode are kind of clunky, but a lot of strategy games were clunky back then. In this era. All right. Well, looks like we're shooting at that first fighter. Looks like we're gonna have to gauge that first fighter. Okay. Ow. Right, we've engaged in melee combat. That actually wasn't so bad. All right. I think we can do that again. I think we can win. Easy now. Don't let him engage my leader. We're working him down. I think we're gonna win. Why are, why are you not shooting, Archer? Shoot! Open fire, I say. Or not. Okay, we win. We win. That was kind of scary, but we outmaneuvered them. We... With a hearty with cheer. With a hearty cheer, yes. Your master at arms shouts a congratulations. Thank you! All right, we got some food. We got 65 silver. They did not have much silver, but boy, did they have a lot of alcohol. Woohoo! We're going to have an alcohol party. Spirits party. We believe in the spirits. We have collected their spirits in bottles. We bottled their spirits. They're very spirits. But we have not... Con we have raided and pillaged the town, but we have not conquered it. The only way to conquer towns and get more territory is to conquer the capital cities. Which, I think the capital city of that area... Well, you'll know a capital city because it'll have one of those white-looking houses, but it's time for me to sail back north and get my troops back so that I do not lose. But this was a first... This was a good, successful first voyage. We, uh... I think, I think this is basically a tutorial, an example of the gameplay of this game. Pretty well. The we have returned. Shout their heart Thank you. I am happy to be back. The hey, merchant. You. Do you have some cash? Because I've got alcohol for you. You need more cash. Woohoo! I'm rich. I'm rich. Should I buy your... You know what I'm going to do? The merchant greets you. Just in case. You know, I'm going to buy your food. Even though we do have a lot of food. No, maybe not. Maybe I shouldn't buy so much food. I'll buy some of your food. Here, I'll buy some of your food, just so you restock food, and I'll have more food for the future, and I'll give you more alcohol. How about that? Hey, Mr. Blacksmith. blacksmith as he stands I would the like better of the furnace. something. I guess better Agreeing weapons. That your current kit is oh. of only middling quality. Oh, the it costs more because I've got more troops. Using wow, I'm more doubly happy that I uh, upgraded at the beginning of the game trying when I didn't have many troops. Await. Okay, well, Agreeing that your current kit this is, is more expensive than I expected it to be, but ching, better weapons. All right, we can also buy more ships. Seeing your interest, but buying more ships is even more expensive. Like he considers a merchant ship is the cheapest ship you can buy, estimates. and it costs four thousand. Finally, determines what, and it and it'll take quite a while to build, but it's worth it. Okay, I have returned. Miss you Rune enter woman? a gloomy hut, filled Cast with the runes wagging for me. her bony finger at you disapprovingly. Oh, the rune they haven't changed. You okay. enter a gloomy hut. <laughs> Don't the runes give me them. Tell me of a oh. young warrior okay. who was both brave and beautiful of feature. In one of his battles, he managed to catch the attention of a young Valkyrie named Isrid. Oh, well, this is the exact same story I heard earlier. Of collecting warriors for Valhalla. Erling, for that was the warrior's name, showed both great bravery and strength in battle. And it very yeah, it's the exact order, same story, Israel but with a different storyteller. That's kind of cool. They had two different it narrators pass, reading all these the stories. Many warriors that Erling she okay. tells you that she has heard of the... Yep, and the I've heard the story. Gloomy... But thank you anyways. Alrighty! Well, I'm gonna save the game as... First raid. Thank you very much for watching me play Vikings Strategy of Ultimate Conquest. Or was it Ultimate... Yes, the, the strategy of Ultimate Conquest. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, my uh, ravenous, uh, strong Viking warriors. Uh, or would it be... Oh, how they describe them. Crude? Strong? Something like that. But anyways, thank you very much, and I'll see you next time, Viking legends. Good night.